I bought this knockoff brand uh, chicken door. I shouldn't have. I should have bought the chicken run version. This cheap one has been having all kinds of problems and look what almost happened. So when I reviewed my camera footage, I noticed that the door did this weird behavior where it closed and opened a few times before it got fully dark. One of my hands was in the door on one of the closings and it stayed open. This door had to go because it's not worth losing a chicken because I wanted to save a few bucks on a door. So here's my old door. This is UXO Life. It's about half the price of the run chicken door. So here is the new run chicken door. I got it off of Amazon. But let's go ahead and open this up. Got a nice booklet, explains all of the things have their screws please read probably not going to read all right and then here's their door this already just feels so much nicer the the thickness of the material is much better pull oh it just turned on there it goes okay stop right there great it stopped Man, this is intuitive. I love it. This one has a metal casing. This piece is metal. This is all plastic. So let's do the next thing. Let's take these covers apart and see what these look like. DC motor, three uh, AA batteries, and some circuitry. All right, so here is the inside of the Chicken Run. This is the off-brand. You can immediately tell this is obviously much cheaper. The circuitry all exposed, water, etc. is eventually going to wear that out. Everything is encased. This is all encased in here. This is really nicely done. This is actually waterproof, whereas this one just probably water resistant. It's running these side by side. If I open them, see how this one chatters? But look how smooth this one runs. Uh, the one advantage this one has is they put the batteries on the outside. That's obviously much better way easier to replace but I have to replace these batteries about every three months these from what I've heard and everything I've read online last about a year highly recommend the run chicken over the you know knockoff brand one all right we're gonna go ahead and put this in make sure I got it centered exactly where I want it all right all right, it's really important that you put the screws loose. If you over tighten this, you'll pinch it and the batteries won't last as long or it won't function properly. It's been a couple days since I installed this and I wanted to give you a quick review of some of the features. Basically, there's one button and three lights. Green light means it's going up. The red light means it's going down. The blue light flashing means it's about to go down. Um, also, if you get a red light flashing, that means the batteries are low and they need to be changed. The other thing I wanna show you is that when the door starts to close, if there's a chicken in the way, and it has to stop, it's gonna flash red like that, and then it's gonna just stay here, and it won't do anything as a safety feature to protect your chickens until you come and push the button to reset it. There's a bunch you can do with programming. There's an app for the, the door, but 99.9% .9 of you are probably just gonna use it with the sunlight. Okay, one other really cool feature is that it only works with sunlight. Artificial lights like a, a floodlight don't actually open it. So I have a security camera that flashes a floodlight if there's some motion. So like a predator comes in, it'll flash the floodlight to scare the predator away and it won't open it or trigger my door. All right, so if you're like me and you tried to save a few bucks on one of those knockoff brand doors, go replace it with the run chicken door today. Get the higher quality one, it's worth it. Trust me, I did it. I bought this with my own money, I'm not sponsored. You should go get one. I put a link in the description below, go check it out. This is the simplest, most elegant, well-built, chicken door out there. Just go with the run chicken door.